Good evening everyone. I'd like to start this video off by doing a PSA. I would like to bring awareness to people who get in their cars very frequently. Before entering your car, I would like you to check around your car, under your car, on your tires, because you never know what you can find. Me, when I was going to work, I did find this little guy under my car. As you can see, I did find the animal labeled as a feline, or a cat, if you will. I am sad that I had to disturb his sleep, but I am happy that the creature was uninjured. So again, this is a PSA for all cars to be more aware before they enter the car, and I hope this was very helpful to you. Thank you. You know what? I actually like doing this. Sup, people? Say love here, aka the Black Mire Bro. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about personal hygiene, but mostly when it comes to smell. Or as the French like to call it, odor. When it comes to personal hygiene and involves smell, there's only two things you got to worry about. Your breath and your body odor. Now, for the people who actually have diseases that cause them to have bad breath or bad odor, I'm actually gonna leave them alone. The world's already messing with them, so those people are exempt from this video. But, for the other people that can control their bad breath or their bad odor, all I wanna say to y'all is, y'all stink. You ever been talking to somebody and like, as they're talking to you, you can actually smell like everything they probably had within the last couple hours, like on their breath? You can smell pungent stuff on their breath, basically like you know what they had, like popcorn, maybe some alcohol, maybe a cigarette. You know, stuff that's like, when you smell it, even though it don't smell all that good, you're like, alright, there's an excuse for it, I'm gonna leave it alone. But for those other people, when it's like, you don't know what it is, and all of a sudden it's just like, in your face, you usually only got two reactions. You can either be like, or you know, it could be like, Those bad boys, those be catch you off guard. As a joke, I actually asked my friend one day, like, like, what do you like outside during the winter? You know, why you cold, you breathe, everybody breathe like, you know, like white or clear, like steam. What if somebody breath like so bad that when they <sighs> breathe, instead of coming out the normal color, it came out green? Would that be interesting or would that just be like mad disgusting? I would like, if that actually really happened, I wouldn't know how to react to it. <laughs> That's just like one of the random things you talk about with your friend. Either way. <laughs> Also, how come the people with the bad breath, how come when they talk to you, they're always like right here in your vicinity? They're like, they're like right here. People with good breath, for some reason, they have good breath, but they also have like, you know, the courtesy to know, stay back. The people with the bad breath, for some reason, nobody told them that day, they breath just kicking, so they're like all like right here in your face. And not only do it stink, it's like heat. It's like all right there. <laughs> So of course, if you're a normal person, you're gonna be like, get off, but the damage already been done. Like basically, he's way over there, like 10, 20 feet away, but the breath is still like right here, like right here in your face. It's like, ah, like, like whatever you do for the rest of the day, it's just gonna be stuck like right there. Wash your face, stay there. <laughs> you literally gonna run to the bathroom, grab some soap, you'll be, ah, still gonna be there for the rest of the day. <laughs> ah. Also, you ever had somebody like talking to you, so basically their breath is coming towards you and you don't want to be rude and let them know they got bad breath, so you sit there and take it, but the whole time you're actually trying not to breathe in their bad breath, so every time they like look away as they're talking, you basically just, you know, try to sneak in a few breaths, so you just be sitting there like, Like normally you breathe through your nose, but like you know this time you can't do it. You don't want to be sniffing that, so you know you want like air. Like you don't want his air. You want like that fresh air, that over here, not near him, like over here fresh air. <laughs> so when it comes to bad breath, I would say there's only like four people in the world that can tell you have bad breath. Your family, of course. Your friends, of course. People that you kind of know, like an acquaintance here and there, of course. And people like you just don't know it all. Your family, of course, they gonna tell you. They say it's out of love, but at the same time, they're like, hey, we're gonna be with you for like the rest of the day, you need to brush your teeth. Your friends, they love you too, they just don't want the world out there like messing with you because you got bad breath. Acquaintances, honestly, that's like a 50 50 thing. If y'all like on the uprise to become friends, you know, they'll let you know. If there's like a person that you say hey to every day, they're just gonna let you have funky breath for like the rest of your life. If it's somebody you don't know, so say they're a cashier, you're buying groceries on a conveyor belt, and you're like breathing on their face, they ain't gonna say a word. Of course they ain't gonna say, they don't know you like that. They gotta deal with you for maybe two minutes of that bad breath. Gone by your minutes. So all I can say is for people who don't want to brush their teeth twice a day, all I can say is you can even invest some gum and some mint all day. Just, just keep popping them, popping like freaking Xanax. Lastly, body odor. This one's very obvious. If your body stink, 
take a shower. If people as a whole think you stink, take a shower. If you're okay with people calling you stanky and you're not in the public domain, honestly, don't take a shower. That's your choice. But having stanky breath compared to like a stanky body, that's two different things. For stanky breath, there's a good chance you only smell it if they mouth is like open. For body odor, all you gotta do is just be sitting there. People still smell you. That's the bad thing about it. I will say there is the old saying, if people smell you and you don't smell yourself, you stink, of course, but you know, that's up to you. But if people smell you and you stink, and you smell yourself and you stink, you stink. There is no way around that. There is no, I can go a couple more days. No, if you stink, get in the shower. <laughs> I will say, growing up as a male, shoot, even some days nowadays, I might go a day or two without a shower. Never more than two, like ever, never more than two. Of course, if I work out or if I just truly had a sweaty day, I'm in the shower. If I'm chilling in my room all day, all day, and I know I'm not going to see nobody, I'm not planning on going nowhere, and I know I got to do laundry in two days, anyway, I'm probably not going to take a shower. Some days you don't feel like getting in the shower. So well. The only way I can talk about body odor is basically bringing up three stories, because the bottom line of body odor, if you stink, you stink. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. There's no nothing you can do about it, but take a shower, put some deodorant on, shoot, maybe Febreze. And I want to point out, for people who Febreze themselves, even though they know deep down the Febreze don't work, in the back of your mind, they thinking, it's better than nothing. If you had just woke up and somebody said you gotta be out the house like really quick, so you ain't really got time to take a shower, maybe not even put deodorant, grab a Febreze, and again, people look at you like, you know that don't work. And again, out loud, you're like, hey, Febreze works on anything. In your mind, you're like, it's better than nothing. You can have 100% Funky Cedric, or you can have Funky Cedric with a little lavender in there. Either way, my three scenarios are basically, when I was younger, and every time me or my male cousin were stanky, for some reason, all the women want to point it out. They want to shout it to the world that you stank. But that's not the weird part. The weird part is, once they believe you stank, they'll be like, come here, let me smell you. So you walk up to them, you're like, what's going on? They lift your arm up, and they go, and for some odd reason, once they do that, they're mad at you for letting them sniff under your armpit. I don't know how that is logical, but it happened way more than it should. They sniffed me, get mad, because they sniffed me. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> and I want to point out, around that time, that's when you realize, your family's crazy. You love them. You love them to death, but your family's crazy. Scenario number two. This is something my uncle said, and honestly, he's right on the money. When growing up, even though you may be stanky, you're stanky with your boys. Cool. Even though you're stanky, you stanky with family. Cool. There's gonna be one day where you're stanky around the wrong person, and your life is gonna change forever. Eighth grade, on a bus, we was on a field trip to go to a skating rink. After we got through skating, everybody's sweating. For some of my reason, a girl, who I really actually didn't have a crush on, but she was a female, so I listened to her because she was a girl. She came up to me, and for some reason, she sniffed me and said I stank. Because of that, I wore deodorant. Now, just because I am a person who just likes to try stuff out, I wore deodorant for about a week. Literally, after that week, the first day I didn't wear deodorant, she came up to me again and said, Hey, sir, you stank again. Done. I was literally wearing deodorant for the rest of my life after that. All I'm saying is, what my uncle said was, don't worry, one day a girl's gonna tell him he's stanky, and he's gonna try better. Fact. Now, lastly, when it comes to like stanky bodies, apparently there's a double standard when it comes to boys and girls. Apparently, a dude having, you know, a little of a musty, little of a stanky smell, it's understandable, as opposed to a girl. Don't know why, for some reason people say, no, girls are supposed to smell like flowers and they're supposed to be lovely. I grew up with women, they don't always smell good. No, so I don't know where that logic is coming from. I grew up dudes. Honestly, sometimes they smell good. No homo. By the way, the story some girls told me about some girls who apparently stank. But it's not really that they stink, it's like they have like a specific odor to them. And when the odor they said, it confuses me because they said it's not really their body itself, it's more of like a body part. Their cooch, if you will. Apparently, if a girl don't take a shower, apparently her cooch smells like fish. I'm not sure if that's truthful or not, but that's what they told me. <laughs> And it's funny because the first girl that told me that, like, cool, she told me that. But then literally a week later, another girl came. She didn't tell me. She was just, like, telling the story of a stanky girl. And, like, coop smelling like fish just popped up in a sentence. So me, I was, like, doing work. And all of a sudden, I was, like, like, when she said coop smelling like fish, I was, like, oh, snap. That is a thing. And I, like, I wouldn't really know. Is that truthful? Like, I don't want to be around a girl. And all of a sudden, I just start sniffing. 
You smell fish? And I was like, and she like, she gets like these eyes like, like, you know, I don't want to put on blast like that. I'm saying, let me know, because that crap is truthful, and I'm behind a girl, and we don't happen to be like at Red Lobster already smelling fish. You know, I want to be like, is that fish? Oh. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from here. <laughs> either way, either way, either way. Woo! Bad breath, bad odor. <laughs> either way, either way. Bad breath, bad odor. Man, just do something about it. If you got bad breath, brush your teeth twice a day. Uh, mint, gum, all this bang. Bad odor, take a shower, put some deodorant on. Be around people so they can tell you you stay. <laughs> Cause I swear to God. <laughs> Cause you, you need the right person to tell you you stay. <laughs> Cause the wrong person to tell you, it might be traumatized. Or at the same time, it might change your life. You don't know, I, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Again, my name is Sam Love, aka the Black Mario Bro. If you enjoyed the video, click like. If you enjoyed the overall, click subscribe. In the comment section, you can talk about somebody with extremely bad breath, or you can talk about somebody with extreme bad body odor. Or shoot, you can talk about yourself. It don't even matter. <laughs> you got a fishy cooch. <laughs>